Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Tech Out Diaries. Now I know everyone has been hard at work and probably prepping hard for the technical interviews. So today I partnered up with Alga Monster to introduce you to a new website that is really cool for students or anybody who's done a little bit of leak coding but wants a little more guidance to really ace those technical interviews. I'm really excited to show you guys all the cool features that it has and let's get started. Also, don't forget to stay until the end of this video for more information about this giveaway that I'm doing. Yay! So now we are at the homepage of algo.monster. This is their homepage and anyone can just go on there and check out what the course is about and look at some of the topics that the course covers. So basically it gives you a good overview of what the course is about. It has this cute quiz here that you can take and I really like it because it tells you the right answer and it tells you which part of the course covers that specific question. So if you click on it, it takes you right to the area of the course that covers it. So let's start from the overview. So this page I really like because it tells you you sort of the types of questions that are most common at certain companies and it gives you a good idea of what you should be studying for it so for example if you really want to work at Amazon maybe it's not a great use of your time to study on topics that only take up about 1% of what they test you on instead maybe you should focus things on like depth first search or basic programming breadth first search etc so it's a good tool just to be able to plan on your study and see what's really important to know and what's maybe you can spend a little less time on. So after you do that, they also have these great cheat sheets that you can look at, a runtime cheat sheet. So if you have trouble remembering certain things, this is a good overview of all of that. It also tells you how to use Alga Monster. So for what I understand is that all the topics are on the left-hand side here and you're supposed to go through them in order just so you don't get confused or um, have something that was covered in the previous module that you don't really understand yet. But if you have a specific topic that you really want to learn more about and you just want to skip ahead, you could also do that. So if you want to learn about priority queues and heaps, you would go to introduction, start here and work your way down. So I think it's a pretty organized tour just so that you know exactly which topic you want to work on and it already has these questions and a module sorted up for you so you don't really have to find which question is about what type of topic. So how do you use the modules? Well, let me show you. So let's go to binary search and I'm at the vanilla binary search section. They have a brief overview of what is binary search because this would be your first introduction to it. And below there's a code editor interface and you would be able to type out your code and actually run it. So let's just say return zero so we can just try it out and see what it does. So we click on run tests and it gives you kind of what is pretty much expected in most technical interview interfaces. It gives you the inputs and your output and the expected output and you basically match it up to see if you're getting what is expected. You can also change the language here that Python on Java, JavaScript has scale for now. I believe that they're adding more in the future. And there's actually an implementation section and there's a cute little slide here that kind of gives you more detail about what's going on. And the reason why they don't have video explanations is because I've talked to the creator and the reason is because they've done research on it and it is actually proven that when you watch videos, it gives you a false sense of understanding that you understand the concept more than you actually know. Instead of actually trying to work it out yourself and critically think about it. It. So these slides are interactive enough, but it still makes you do the work and think about what is actually going on without just mindlessly watching and thinking that you're understanding everything. After that, it gives you the code solution. And I really like these comments because it tells you basically what each line is doing. Because sometimes when you get code thrown at you, you don't really understand the solution just by looking at it. So I really appreciate how they did these explanations while giving you the solution. Then. Down here, you can also ask questions if you don't understand something. Um, it's like a discuss thing. And besides that, they also have a community on Discord, which I will show you later, that is more interactive. You can actually ask the instructors more questions about something that you don't understand. Another thing that is helpful is that Algo Monster split up the course into two different sections, Monster Core and Monster Plus. So Monster Core, I would say, is the main topics that you should know as a beginner. The Monster Plus is for intermediate advanced programmers, but I think Monster Core are the main topics that you really should know if you're preparing for any technical interview, it's good to be able to do questions on them just to be able to practice because you never know what may come up. Another tool that I think is really helpful is the evaluator tool. So when you click on it, it's like a little quiz and they have several different languages they can take the quiz in. And once you select the answers, you will be able to see what you get right and what you get wrong. And at the end, you will be able to see an explanation for why you get these questions right or wrong. And I just think it's really helpful as a tool to be able to test yourself 
yourself and see if you actually understand the concepts in an interactive way. It tells you why your answer is wrong and why it's not. And if you want to learn more about it, you click on it and it will lead you to the section that lets you review and study up on it more. So at this point, you're probably wondering, what are these little lock symbols? So what those are is the premium content. And when you click on it, it will only show you a preview of the topic that it's covering. And you would have to get the premium membership to access all your content. Now, as I said, they already have a lot of free content for you guys. But a lot of these content are premium content because they put a lot of detail into them and they could be more advanced questions or things that people with more intermediate knowledge would want to learn more about. My blue light here really matches with the Alga Monster theme, you know? Totally did that on purpose. So I just had to pause myself so you guys don't have to, so I can breathe, you know? Anyways, back to the Alga Monster course. You're probably wondering, what are these lock symbols for, Jasmine? So what it is, is premium content. So it's pretty much all the content that is really popular among these companies and it's probably important stuff that you really should know. And you get a preview of it, but you don't actually get to try it until you get the premium membership. Now, what is this premium membership, you ask? Well, not only does it unlock all these content that have the lock symbol beside it, but when you click on it, let me show you what else it includes. So the monthly membership is $29 a month and the lifetime access is only $59 for lifetime access, which I think is a really good deal compared to other things that are out there for basically the same price, but nowhere near amount of interactive content that this course has. And not only does it unlock all these questions, but it also has access to the private Discord group where you get to ask questions and you also get something that's really cool, which is one hour one-on-one -on -one coaching with an instructor. So you can go over all the questions you want during that session. So if you don't understand the basics of binary search, you don't understand what DFS is, you don't understand a question in this course at all, you can go ahead and ask them. And they're really supportive. And I've been in the Discord group and they really do try to help you out as much as possible. Let me give you guys a quick sneak peek of what the Discord group looks like. So this is the general Discord group and basically they ask some questions in here. They split it up into different topics in the course. So you can just pop your questions in there and somebody we get back to you and there's also a private discord group for people who bought the premium membership and it basically just is a great way for you to get some detailed answers on anything that's troubling you so if there's a question that you have about the course there's a really detailed explanation that the instructors will give and you can basically ask them about anything they give you tons of resources they won't think that it's a dumb question or anything so feel free to just ask away don't forget that this is also an introductory offer and that they are also adding way more content and stuff in the future so once you get this lifetime access you will also get all the updates to the future course for free so whenever they come out with a new version of the course you would also get it with this lifetime membership and it's just a really good way to be able to keep expanding your skills you don't have to worry about a certain day to finish the program by you get to keep it forever and one last thing i want to show you guys is that they have this tool called um a stats and it's a progress tracker to be able to see which questions you have done more of and which are your strongest and weakest areas so basically once you start doing these questions it will show up on this chart right here and basically tell you um, how much of each question you've done and it's kind of like a game almost because the, they have different levels and for, to get to the next level, you have to complete certain numbers of problems. So like for this example, to get to the inter level, you have to complete eight more problems. So you just keep completing these problems to be able to grow your skills and also to get to the next level, which I think is really cool. It helps you keep track of your progress and helps you keep motivated. So yeah, hope you guys check the algo.monster course out. There's a lot of content on there that anyone could take something away from it. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much again for watching this video. For the giveaway, I will be giving away one lifetime membership of Algo Monsters Technical Interview Prep Course as well as a $10 Starbucks gift card. Hope that gives you guys a little extra motivation. To enter, all you have to do is make sure you subscribe to Tech Gal Diaries, like this video, and comment in the comment section what kind of video or topic you want me to cover next. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!